こんにちはシェフの娘ですたくさんのお祝いメッセージありがとうございますこれからもクッキングウィズドッグをよろしくお願いしますこんにちは今日は毎日食べても飽きない胃腸に優しい雪鍋を作ります Hey this is Francis again First grate the daikon radish Using a regular grater will give it a fine texture and create a relatively large amount of juice. This is called onioroshi, which can coarsely grate the daikon. When the onioroshi is used, it will have less juice. Now, Let's make the yuki nabe. First, place the dried kombu seaweed into a heavy ceramic or earthenware pot. Add a grated daikon radish. We used both the onioroshi and the regular grater to give the daikon a palatable texture and also add extra juice, but you can use either of the tools. Next, place the soft silkin tofu onto the daikon. Divide the tofu into 4 to 5 pieces, but be sure not to break them. Arrange the thinly sliced pork belly onto the tofu, but avoid overlapping. You can also use pork loin slices instead of the pork belly. Pour the sake over the ingredients. If you can't use any alcohol, just leave out the sake. Heat the pot on medium heat and cover. When it begins to boil, reduce the heat and let it simmer for a while. Now, remove the lid. If the pork slices are overlapping, be sure to separate them. Mmm, looks so delicious. When all of the redness in the meat has disappeared, it is ready. Ladle the pork belly and tofu into a bowl along with the grated daikon radish. This hot pot is called yuki nabe or mizore nabe because the grated daikon looks like snow or sleet, which is what yuki or mizore means. Sprinkle on one generous amount of spring onion leaves. Finally, pour on the pond's citrus based sauce and enjoy the delicious yuki nabe. In this recipe, we used the daikon without removing the skin and simmered the ingredients in the daikon juice without adding any water. Sappari s t e i k u r a d e m o t a b e r a r e m a s 大根ラディッシュ、コンテインエンザイムズ、ダッヘルプユアダイジェスティブシステム、ソディスディッシュ、ウェリーイジーオンユアストマック。グラックインデキッチン。ハハハハハ。